Hey everyone, welcome back to the next video. I'll be going over importing and exporting brushes and um, the pop-up palette that Krita has. So real quick, we'll go over that. I'm going to go over the pop-up palette first. So in the pop-up palette, uh, if you right-click on your canvas, it pops up. You have a quick selection of, of uh, brushes and erasers and whatever else you want to put here and a color selector in the middle here. It's a really easy way to switch between brushes without having to go through all of these presets down here. Um, and it's really good to quickly use the eraser versus pressing E each switch between the eraser and the brush. The cool thing about the pop-up palette is it will save every color you use for a quick selection just like it will over here on your color selector. So you right click and these are the colors that I used. I use a yellow, it's just a brighter one. There it is. It's pretty neat. Um, and the cool thing about this is you can make your own little uh, palette to use. So one for coloring, one for line work, one for sketching, whatever you usually would use Krita for. And to add brushes in a new palette, I will show you that right now. So scroll down to any of these brushes here. Let's say the one you made in the last video, which is this uh, little texture brush. You might have named it differently, you might have made something different. You can really pick any brush here to add. It, it's not necessary to, to use what we did in the last video. Just right click on it and assign to tag. Now these are the ones I've already made. Uh, I have a blending, custom ink, erasers, um, favorite presets which is the default I believe. I think these both are. Uh, if you want to add a new tag, uh, like again for inking or whatever, just type in whatever you like here. So we'll just say tutorial brushes. Alright, so that's it. Now to make sure it's there, right click on your canvas again, go to this little wrench over here, and uh, right on the bottom, this is alphabetical order, right on the bottom it will say tutorial brushes. If you select that, then the brush we made in the last video is there. So now we can uh, add whatever other brushes we want. So that would be it for the pop-up palette. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, you can switch between the two. Blending. Um, I like the blender here a lot. There we go. Excuse me. Erasers. All that fun stuff. Let's go back to the default at favorite presets. Uh, go ahead and customize whichever one you want. This is a. I really recommend using this. So you don't have to scroll through these dozens of brushes, especially when you start making your own or importing and exporting other people's uh, brushes, which I will show you how to do now. In these settings, um, there's a section called Manage Resources. All of your textures, um, brushes, everything like that's going to be referred to as a resource. So as you can see, I've already done this once in the last video before I restarted it. Um, we're going to just, I'm just going to walk you through it. So we want to make a new bundle, which will have any brushes that we have. So create bundle. Uh, you can put your bundle name here, a description of it, and if you'd like your personal information, if you're sharing it with others, like a website, or if they have any questions about the brushes you gave them, put your email here, not necessary. The save to sections where it's going to save your bundle, and where it's going to call that information when you load that bundle back into Krita. You can change, I recommend putting this back in the actual um, broken files Krita. Uh, I think it's, no, it's in the bin. Oh, share, sorry. It's in the share, and then there's a brushes section somewhere. I don't put it there, which is really bad, but it's under apps, Krita, and brushes. There we go. You can put it here if you'd like. Alright, so once you've got all that figured out, we're going to go to type. We're going to go to brush presets. And this is where all of our brushes are that we see down here that we can select. 
earth is going to be at the very bottom. Again, this is in alphabetical order. Um, I don't see why you couldn't put an underscore in front of your brush name for easy access because it should be the first thing that comes up. I haven't tested that out yet, but if you would like to test it out, you can definitely do that. There's no harm in that. Alright, so we're going to uh, move this over to our selected um, brushes for a bundle. I'm just going to add a couple other ones I made. So I'll put that one there. I'll put my marker there. Okay. And we're going to say tutorial brush set 2. I had to quickly restart that. Uh, I think because I have these brushes in here, it uh, didn't appreciate me trying to import it again. So let's try this again. We're going to create a bundle tutorial test brush preset. Save, import, open. All right, and it should. There we go. All right, and that's all you really have to do. Um, move that over to inactive. So now it's imported in here, and you can just hit OK, and your brushes will automatically. Um, be imported here. You can actually go, let's see. Yeah, you see all the tags that are in there. If I want to make a new tag for the things I just imported, I could, but I already have these brushes in here, so it's not going to duplicate it, which is good. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for importing, exporting, and the pop up palette. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else specifically to go over. At the end of this video, I will be showing the comparison of a couple of different brushes of that sketch I posted in the last video. Just to show you guys the difference between um, the different types of brushes that they have available. I think I used a marker, a pen, and a pencil brush. And then I'll be, go I'll be uh, making a quick... Um, uh, color sketch of it as well to show you the way different brushes um, blend the colors, the way certain brushes have like a textured look to it, like the one we made in the last video. And I think that will be it. I'll list which brushes I use um, in the video and on the side of the image, just in case you want to go play with them yourself. If you'd like um, an image to play with, or if you have any questions about some of the brushes that you want to be using, please let me know. Um, I have no problems creating a quick uh, image for you guys to practice with. I know that sometimes it's easier to do it that way versus uh, drawing a brand new image that you really like and then having to go through all these different coloring methods and just see which one you like because I know how much of a pain that can be. Again, um, that should be it now. Thanks for watching. I hope this really quick video helped you out. If you need me to go over any of these um, uh, features again, just just let me know. You know, try and elaborate some more. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you have any suggestions for the next video. And otherwise, I'll be going over some other uh, features. I haven't decided which one to tackle next yet. I might be going over the layers more um, closely. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.